This is our drill press safety video. For this machine, our drill press, we want to keep our fingers two inches away again. So our margin of safety for this machine is two inches. Keep your fingers two inches or more away from the bit. Um, just like when you're eating spaghetti. If you take a fork, you push that fork into the spaghetti and you spin it, it's gonna wrap up that spaghetti and make it easier for you to eat it. The drill bit's gonna work the same way. It spins around and around and around and whatever it grabs, it's gonna to wanna to also spin around and around, just like the fork in the spaghetti. So if your shirt sleeve gets caught in there, it's gonna to wanna to spin it and wrap it up. And as strong as you might be, you're not stronger than this machine. And it's gonna to try to wrap it up and pull it in. So our second safety rule for this machine, avoid wearing loose clothing and jewelry, tie back long hair. If you don't have a ponytail, I have plenty of them. Just ask, I'll get you a ponytail. If you have baggy sleeves, again, I always roll mine up. It's just a good habit to get into is that way they're never in the way. Draw strings, tuck them in, baggy clothes, figure out a way to, to fix it. If we have a problem, I'll call you out. I'll get you, I'll get you a different shirt. So must remove loose clothing, a baggy clothing, jewelry, long hair tied up, be careful on this machine. Rule number three, small or difficult to hold pieces can be held in a clamp. So right here, I have a clamp that is holding my project. This will be a lot easier for me to hang on to the clamp rather than that tiny part. The other way we can hang on to small parts is with a vise. So I can put my tiny part in the vise and then clamp down on that. Make sure where you are drilling though, you are not drilling into the metal clamp. You will damage the bit and I don't wanna to have to buy new bits. Safety rule number four, the backup board on the drill press protects the metal table underneath and it also prevents your projects from getting ripped on the bottom side. So my example for this one, I don't know how many of you um, are target shooters with guns, but if you shoot a gun at a piece of plywood or a piece of cardboard, the front side will be nice and clean. The back side will blow out and it will rip the, that piece of paper, cardboard, or piece of wood. Same thing happens here on the drill press. If I did not have this backup board on here and I just had a big hole in the center, for the bit to go through, it would blow out the material and break the material and damage my project, um, damage the metal table underneath. It would not be a good thing. So we wanna make sure we have our backup board behind it and our backup board where our driblet is going through is fairly clean. We don't wanna have a bunch of holes and pockets where we're drilling. Because again, if there's pockets, our project will rip out right there where that pocket is. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is changing drill bits. When we change out drill bits, we have to use, this is called our chuck. Our chuck holds our bit. To remove the bit from the chuck, we need to use a tool called a chuck key. Chuck keys are right over here on the filler. This is our chuck key. We fit it in here and we turn it Lefty Lucy counterclockwise will loosen it. We can pull our bit out. If we want to put a new bit in, we spin the top collar here on the chuck so it opens up. We put our new bit in. You can get it hand tight to start. Grab your chuck key, tighten it in one place. Find another spot to tighten it at, because there's, there's three places here to tighten. We're going to tighten it in two of the three. That ensures that we have a nice, good grip on that bit. I'm going to turn it off and on really quick, or sorry, on and off really quick to make sure my bit isn't wobbling. So that bit is wobbling a little bit. That means there's probably some dirt or debris in there. 
go ahead and turn it, loosen up the chuck tight, turn the bit a little bit, clean it up, tighten it again in two places, and then it's good and snug. You might want to check it a few times, make sure it runs nice and true. Always remove the chuck key from the chuck. If you leave that in there and turn the machine on, it's going to fly most likely at you or at your neighbor. So be very, very careful. Make sure you remove the chuck key when you're done. If you are drilling through a long piece of wood, such as this piece here, I do not want to hold this piece of wood like this. The bit catches, it's going to make this into a helicopter blade and it's going to try to hit you. So think of that. Think if it's, it always rotates clockwise. So if it's going to rotate, you want it to rotate and hit something solid, not something soft. I mean, rock hard. So I want to put my project this way so that if it rotates, it's either going to hit the column on the drill press or the big concrete column here in the back. That way, if it spins, it's not going to hurt me or hurt you. It's just going to hit the, this column and stop. That is drill press safety.